We've got so many as I'm standing here tonight. But again, we've got a long way to go. And uh, today, uh, uh, today, and a couple of these other games, we, uh, uh, with uh, uh, the makeup of this team, uh, I shouldn't be this frustrated. Ooh, all right, Skip, how hot is Jason Garrett's seat right now? Go, Jerry, go. No, no, not go, Jerry, go. Woo. He just heated up Jason Garrett's seat for the first time in a long, long time, maybe ever. That That's as critical as I've heard Jerry mm. pinpoint it on the coaching staff, read Jason Garrett. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy because I feared Jerry would take the easy way out, the moral victory way out and say, hey, conditions were tough out there. And we hung in to the last drop with that the defending champs and the team that's playing the best right now and the great coach and the great quarterback, blah, 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 blah. I was afraid that's what we would get. But instead, he turned up the heat. And this is where I get conflicted as a Dallas Cowboy fan. And I've told you this before, and now it's worse than ever. Because I believe if the Cowboys miss the playoffs, Jason Garrett is gone. So now it puts me in the awkward position of almost having to hope they miss the playoffs to get rid of Coach Clapp. And I don't want them to miss the playoffs because I'm going to lose a bunch of due to you if they do. <laughs> so here's the worst case scenario is that they eke into the playoffs and the way this division is going, they might be eight and eight and win the division. And if they do, they're going to get a home playoff game as it stands right now, it would be Seattle again. Right. And what if this time they don't beat Russell Wilson and company? What if they get embarrassed by Russell Wilson and company in a get back game, a get even game? Mm -hmm. And Jason Garrett survives because they quote unquote made the playoffs by backing into the division. Do you believe, do you believe Garrett can can keep his job if he doesn't get to the NFC Championship game or at least a Super Bowl? Well, all, all I know for sure is he, he has to at least make the playoffs. Okay. I think if he does, it's going to be hard because Jerry still loves him like a son. No, no, no. I think Jerry would rationalize it. You, you know what Jerry okay? loves. But I think yesterday was about three developments to me. And the first one was Ian Rappaport's NFL Network report of yesterday afternoon mm -hmm. or yesterday morning, actually, that basically said that People close to Jason Garrett are saying that if he does get fired, that he has his eye on the division rival New York football giants. And trust me, I know Jerry real well, and that report would stick in Jerry's craw. Yep. Oh, so on the verge of our biggest game of the year at New England, a story is out there about you got your eye on the giants? Yeah. Uh, that that does, that would rub Jerry the wrong way. That's why he turned up the heat. Did it rub him the wrong way at the combine? Did he mm. say he wasn't going to give Jason Garrett a contract mm. extension? Well, Did that rub him the wrong way? Well, good. Your actions have consequences. Good. good, I like it. So I also think that Jerry is now seeing the light on Jason's biggest flaw, and that is his inability to motivate his football team. What happened again yesterday for the eighth time in 11 games? Help me out here. They fell behind from the get-go. That's what they always do. They mm -hmm. fall behind. They don't take it to the, the team except for the Eagles in that one big Sunday night home game. That's the only time they really took it to what looked like at the time a good football team. So I think Jerry decided, uh-oh, circumstances are getting a little dire here. We have to get ready in three days for Buffalo. Who's, Buffalo's a good football team, especially on defense. defense. Yes, They're a good yes, football team. What are they up to, eight and three now? Yeah. And little Cole Measley Beasley had six catches for 76 yards. Trust me, he's going to come back with a vengeance. And Josh Allen played well yesterday. He played very well, and he seems to be getting a little better. And we know he can run it if hey, he can't throw it. I was about it. to say, Skip, he, right? he's way, way, because okay. you look at a kid that size, you don't think it. Okay, so, you don't think so, be mobile. okay, but but again, dangerous opponent on Thanksgiving Day, even though sure. Cowboys usually play pretty well on Thanksgiving. But in this case, I think Jerry finally said, I got a light of fire in the locker room that my coach cannot. Okay. And then what did he see yesterday from Bill Belichick's coaching staff that he didn't see from his? He saw a whole bunch of things. He saw a block punt. Mm -hmm. He saw three kickoff returns in which New England was kicking into the wind, in which Tony Pollard camped back on the goal line, and all three fell on the 15 to 20 yard line. Well, it's just stupid. Yeah. And, and Troy Aikman said, way to go, Troy, on Fox. That's just poor coaching, yeah. because it just is. Yeah. And, and he also a situation said- situation like that, you put your heels on the 10. Yeah, come if on. Go, if it goes over your head, it's in the end zone, you're down it. You, you can't- But you can't let the ball hit folk. the- yeah. It's It's the, the old cowboy draft pick who's yeah. 35 years old. You don't have that kind of leg. Although, I think the other kid, now that I think about it, he kicked off. Uh, yeah, the other kid kicked off. But, but whatever. The point is that in the end, they had back-to-back -back penalties on a punt because New England 
buffaloed them by the way they lined up on the punt. Remember, right. they, they, they didn't put anybody back. And right. all of a sudden, they got to delay a game because they didn't know how to respond to it. And then they got a motion, you know, and they, they get pushed back, and that set up the block punt. Well, Jerry said up there, he's not stupid. You know, he was all Southwest Conference right. he gets as it, a yeah. guard at Arkansas. Right. And he's like, this looks like poor coaching versus the best coaching. Right. So then he said, you know what? I'm taking the gloves off in the post game. I'm going to let him have it. Oh, and he did. Yeah. The man said that when you come here, you already expect to get our coach. Mm -hmm. How the hell did that make your coach feel? Mm. That's like, like hold, he should. Hold on. Yeah. If I, if, hold on. If I go, if I'm a player and my coach said, yeah, we're going to New England, but we already expect to get our play. Mm. What the hell are we going for then? Mm. If that was the case, why didn't you go ahead and remove him? Because, see, Jerry, all of this is on Jerry. Now, we can make it about Jason Garrett because mm. he's the head coach, and he, people want to put that, but this is about Jerry because what Jerry wants is power. Jerry, can you imagine Miss Benson, Gail Benson, the owner of the Saints, saying something like this about Sean Payton? Oh. Can you imagine uh, the, the, the Roonies, who've been in coaching a lot longer, I mean, ownership a lot longer than Jerry, saying something about this? About Mike Tomlin? Mm -hmm. You see what Jerry wants is power. Mm -hmm. Jerry wants the ability, ability to go and come and talk however he wants to, when he wants to. But there are ramifications for that. Mm. You got to get a guy that's willing to swallow his pride and ego. Mm. And the one thing I know about great players, great coaches, great anything, they got hella pride. Mm -hmm. They got hella ego. And I bet you think Sean Payton would go for that skill base? Honestly, no. you know Sean Payton. You know, not one time would he go for this. He would be on the war path. He might not do it publicly, but he would do it privately. And yep. that's Jerry's problem, Skip. Mm -hmm. You can't keep saying, it started last year in Houston. Oh, he should have went for it on fourth down. And now every time you turn around, Jason Garrett is going against his coaching philosophy, going for it on first, fourth down, mm -hmm. because he knows no matter what happens, if they don't win the game, he's going to get second guess to high heaven. Jerry Jones is responsible for the mess that the Cowboys are in mm. because he, all he does is undermine his head coach. Mm. His head coach is nothing but a figurehead. Mm. All he has the ability to do. You call him Coach Clapp mm -hmm. because that's all Jerry has allowed him to do. Mm. He won't let him coach. Mm. And I agree, with, I agree with what he said now. Mm -hmm. Skip, the thing is with special teams, having been a special teams player, mm -hmm. is that teams do not spend the emphasis like they do offense and defense. Okay. But in a game like this, and in most games, Skip, even if you score a touchdown, what do you have to do? You have to come out and kick the PAT. That's special teams. Sure. You got to kick off. That's special teams. If you hold them on third down, you got to receive the punt. You're going to have to punt. So special teams is going to play a bigger part than what people put the emphasis on in practice. Yeah. Coach Belichick. Well, Jimmy Johnson always told me that. it's exactly one-third of the equation. Exactly. One third offense, one third defense, one third special. And on the game of this magnitude, you say, you know what? If we play this thing close to the bed, yep. we don't turn it over, they don't turn it over. How can we steal a field? How can we steal field position? And Coach Belichick was smart enough to know. Now, on one of them, I, I can't even pronounce his last name, but 49 food he skipped. Mm -hmm. He came up and pretended like he was gonna catch it and then pulled his oh. hands away. Tony Paul like, what the hell are you doing? Remember that. I don't but, know what he was doing there in the first place. <laughs> but Skip, Oda Wally, in, a, in a situation like that, because mm -hmm. it ended up winning us a game, AFC Championship game, yep. Skip, we kicked off against the Jets. Mm -hmm. The ball caught a hug up in the wind, and they let it hit the dirt, mm -hmm. and we dove on it. And the next thing you know, we go on a uh, score like 21 straight wow. points. Mm -hmm. and you, they kick it into the wind. What? He doesn't have that kind of leg. You actually think, I guess the wind, Skip, the wind's blowing 10, 15 miles an hour. Do you actually think that guy has that kind of leg? Put it on the 10, get your plate on the 10, because it's easier to come up than go back. It so is. you can come up 10 yards. But you in the end zone, and you got to try to run up 20 yards? Especially after the first one, but it happened three times. And all three were near disasters. So they were lucky that who, they survived. Who, who's the special team coach? Jason Garrett, homeboy? Because he don't know what the hell he's doing. So he should have told him. Yeah, but that's on Jason Garrett in the end. That's where you're watching, you're overseeing. You say, hey, stop. You, up here. That's that's from you. It's the head coach. So it the that's coaching. the special. No, special. I don't know. It, it could have happened. I mean, because I, but I, but I can't remember Mike telling the special teams guys to do anything. Huh. He's like, okay, we need to stop. Let's pin them down. Something like that. But to where to stand and where to feel the ball, that's understood. Okay, you kick the ball one time into the wind, mm -hmm. and it lands at the 15. Why the hell am I going to go back to the goal line, Skip? Okay. I'm going to come up to the, like the 10 or the 15-yard line so I can feel it because at worst-case scenario, Skip, what can I do? I can fair catch 
a kickoff. You can. So now you get the ball. If, if it hangs up, there, I can, they can't do anything to you. The worst thing you can let happen, Skip, is let that ball in wet, windy conditions hit the ground. Mm -hmm. That ball going everywhere. Yeah. And so now what you should have could have got the ball at the 20, 25, you're getting the ball at the 10-yard mm -hmm. line. Yep. Now, try going the distance, 90, 85, 90 That's yards. That's what kept happening. That's what kept happening. And, and Coach Belichick knows that. So what was Jerry's bottom line takeaway? Our roster is better than they're playing. So yes. that's the shot at the coaching staff. Well, what does he think he's responsible for putting the roster, roster to together? Get, right, right, right. So he's saying, I did my part. Now my coaches got to do their part. But like you said, Skip Bayless, now you said the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator, yeah, they get to call the plays, but the head coach gets to say, run a pass. Mm. He can say, okay, bring the blitz or play coverage. If I'm the owner, what do I get to say? Mm. Well, I know what he said once upon a time back in 1990 to Vanity Fair magazine. <laughs> I could coach the, you know what, out of this team. He said that. Yeah. Oh, he believes the it. great Frank DeFord. That's a quote unquote. I could coach the, mm -hmm. you know what. And he probably still believes he could coach the, you but know he don't, what. But, but here's the thing, Skip. He gets to get all the credit when things go well. But you know when you coach, when things go bad, who get the blame? Okay. The coach. All right. So remarks like that from on high will, will serve to send this team north or south. It's either going to detonate the locker room in a good way or a bad way. Because you only, as you well know, you got three days to get ready. At least three. you're at home. You yes. don't have to travel. Three but days. you better get yourself psychologically and emotionally ready mm -hmm. for the Buffalo Bills because they will come in serious We're business. We're around. Yeah. Uh, Ed Werder from ESPN is reporting yeah. that despite Jerry's you know, frustration, no changes will be made to the coaching staff. Oh, I'm not so, surprised. You, you mean, mean the rest of the year? Yeah, yeah okay. right now, like yeah. they're not going to make any changes. Which Oh, no, I don't think. I don't think they would, but that's what he's saying this morning. So, but he was pretty upset. Maybe it'll fuel them. Maybe it'll not, go in a different not, direction. He wasn't upset enough to not skip. to stop meddling. Was he that upset, Skip? Nope. <laughs> exactly. Maybe he should coach Thursday. I Whatever. Know. Jerry, you know, he, he probably would enjoy that he Thanksgiving would. day. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to talk about a different guy, Carson Wentz. Shannon, have you been watching him lately? Don't because I know you do. enjoy when the Cowboys lose. When Carson Wentz is this bad, is he costing the Eagles a chance at the playoffs? That is next.